Hey guys, this is Not Tom Box, and welcome to MSC.TV. Today we will be covering the newest structure deck, Shadol Showdown. Ooh. And this is nerve wracking. Hi everyone. Hey guys, it's the care. Um, long time no see to most of you. Uh, yeah, unless you've been watching those spicy chicken challenge videos recently. <laughs> yeah, for the rest of you who are mostly in for the meta content or the market watch content, what's up? My name is The Care. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. So, today we will be going into the Structured Deck Shadow Showdown. Um, but first of all, elephant in the room must be addressed. Why is this not Tombox's video? Hi, um, he's not here. This be here. Let's get started. Content. Moving on. Hopefully I get chocolate for doing this work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, be I, I better get chocolate tomorrow. That, that's how this goes, right? Yeah. All right. So, um, we are going to be getting some nice little support, uh, hopefully. Um, Shadows have been on the downward spiral, um, <laughs> spirals, but downward spiral nonetheless recently, and they haven't been doing that great. Um, this will give them that little utility and a little bit of interaction that they need. Thus saith Tombox. I've been taking a break from Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, so this is gonna be an adventure. You and I, an adventure. Let us be off. Okay, so first off, we destroy the box utterly and completely. Send a message to those of us who would play in the future. Sending a message. All right, first off, beginner's manual. I could use this, honestly, all the links are just a big question mark to me. But what we do with these is that. Moving on. Ooh, okay, so everyone likes looking at the mat. It's nice. Got some key players here. Some more than others are gonna be uh, focused on today. And otherwise, we just, we just fold these up. Fold these up, don't tell anyone. Just slide it to the side. And we get to the good stuff, all right. Uh, how do I open this? Okay, I finally defeated the plastic. It took forever, apologies. And now we'll move on to El Shadol Grista. And then we will move further on from this ultra to El Shadol Abcalone. Now, Abalone here is a terrifying fish of monstrous proportion and... Oh, you know, the art's not bad. This is like what fish strive to be. Yes. It's a level six spellcaster fusion. Two shadow monsters with different attributes. Must first be fusion summoned. Cannot be destroyed by battle. You can only use each of the effects of El Shadol Apcolon once per turn. Number one, if this card is special summoned, you can target one face up card on the field, negate its effects. Number two, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one shadow card from your deck or grave to your hand, then discard one card. Okay, now as a 2500 attack and 2000 defense, it's uh, yeah, Tombox says this is the utility boss monster. Hooray! I agree, this is some pretty nice utility here. So it's a target one face up card on the field, so that flexibility is nice there, you know? You deserve a seat of honor. Now, moving on. El Shadol Construct. Alternate art. Looks pretty nice. I don't know, I like the original myself. Another new card. Quad Shadol Chaos. Level 2 Light Monster. 900 attack, 100 defense. Better make up for it. Spellcaster. Flip effect. You can special summon one Shadol monster from your hand in face-up or face-down defense position. Mm -hmm. 
All right, if this card is sent to graveyard by a card effect, you can send one Shadow monster from your hand to the grave, and if you do for the rest of this turn, all monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the original level of that monster sent to the graveyard times 100. You can only use one Cod Shadow Chaos effect per turn and only once that turn. All right, so a little booster. Got a summon there. Very nice. We shall use you. Number two, Reshadol. Joke's incoming, oh my goodness. Wendy. Oh, that's some like... Got that Mario Sunshine game in the background there. Oof. And, uh, oh. Yeah, this is... It's one of those waifu cards, huh? Alright. Uh, 1500 attack, 1000 defense, level 3 wind is... Pretty standard. Hmm. And it's a psychic flip. Let's read the flip. You can special summon one Shadow monster from your deck in face up or face down defense position, except re Wendy. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon one Shadow monster from your deck in face down defense position, except re Wendy. You can only use one re Wendy effect per turn and only once that turn. All right, so this, this be a key effect card. We shall use you in the engine. I highly recommend. Also, Tom does too. Yo, I'm basically reading the script here. Now, next up, Nail Shuttle Aerial. Level 4 Water. Okay, so the math is happening. I do not like the art. Those, like, I know there's a staff there, but the hands are inappropriate, people. Keep them to yourselves. Attack 1000. Defense 1800. Very standard level 4 material. Like, you know. Zhuzh. Is that zhuzh? Okay, flip effect. You can target one of your banished Shadol monsters, special summon it in face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target up to three cards in the graveyard, banish them. You can only use one Nail Shadol aerial effect per turn and only once that turn. Also very nice. Hmm, making use of that banish. We like that. Okay, so now we move on to the other cards. This is a super. Reshadol Incarnation. It's interesting. Tap. Oh. Got more art for Winda. Very nice. Always good to have a copy too. And Shekinaga. Gotta love those stats, huh? And Fusion. Also very standard. We like those. And then we move on to the commons. Okay, so here's your standard, like, you know, army dudes and the little pendulums. And then, you need these by the way. Don't forget these. You need these. Okay, moving on. BLS. Very good common to have. Mm, yeah, you should keep these. This is relevant, like, now, which is always nice. And then... Let's see, a lava golem. Now, how do I? How does Tom organize these things? Goodness. Lava golem, also very nice to have. Yeah. It just breaks boards. There's nothing else to say. We always like those. Break the board and win the game. Dark arm dragon. Uh, not, not so much right now. But you know, you can make it work later, maybe. They've, they were pretty useful, like Sleeper, Trick Clown, very useful stuff. Um, I don't know you. I'm sure you're useful though, this is like all in the same train. Curry Bandit, Mathematician, they all have their place. Uh, don't know you. And then we've got like the standards and the board breakers. Number two, um, everyone loves a ramen cup. Yeah, there's some very good staples in here. Uh, just as commons and as should all players is something you can always look forward to drawing hopefully you know oh uh unbanned very nice and always useful to have the twisties i got some more uh you know standards there got that lost wind unending nightmare necrofusion yeah, a uh, couple of those remaining shuttle cards there. Make sure you're getting the full deal. And then, don't forget to play Duel Links, boys. 
and that marks the end of this video all right thank you for having me everyone it's been a pleasure um hopefully shadows will have a better time too a little bit more interaction with the boss monster a little bit more wendy plays taking on a rogue spot maybe hopefully i would love to see it okay so what are your thoughts is this a great structure deck to start the year off or no? Personally, I think it's a pretty good one. Um, you can't go wrong getting, you know, good staples, a couple of Shadow cards here and there, and uh, hopefully they'll get further support. I would love to see it. Um, I would love to see more Madolce support. That's just me, isn't it? Yep. All right, if you enjoyed having me, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you. I appreciate. And if you would like to see more MST, please hit subscribe, ding the notification bell, so you will be notified. Thank you, and we will see you in the next one. Or at least on box. When will you see me next?